Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Don Dornell. I'm with Calaveras County uh, Education Rescue. What I'd like to do is I'd like to start this off by introducing our sheriff, Dick Casilio, who has a few words. And we'll go from there. Sure. Good morning, everybody. Hey, thanks for coming out. Um, I got a long list. I want everybody to know who was here. We got Placer County, Contra Costa, uh, Napa, Cal Esar, Stanislaus, San Benito, uh, of course, Calaveras here, Santa Clara, Butte, um, Bamry, uh, San Mateo, Wolf, uh, Carta, uh, Red Cross for the food, thank you very much. And uh, Cal OES, uh, Mark and Eric that are here, thank you guys for helping us put this together. You guys have been out here for a long time, I appreciate all the efforts. Um, I can't thank you enough, and I know the family members are ecstatic. Um, I actually talked to one of their cousins who said that they're very happy with the way that we've been doing this. Um, hopefully you guys uh, have a little bit more success than we have had in the last week, I guess. Um, again, thank you very much for coming out and putting in your time. Um, volunteers, you guys are phenomenal. I can't say enough about our volunteer SAR unit uh, and just our volunteer program uh, through our county as a whole. Uh, you guys are doing a great job. We appreciate it. All our allied agencies, I got nothing but kudos to you guys for spending your time coming out on a Saturday to help us out. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, it's going to be warm today. I'm sure uh, Lieutenant Sir will be saying this, but I'm going to say it anyhow. Please be safe. I saw a guy walking around here with snake boots on. I like that because I wear mine when we go out and do our marijuana growth. So um, please be safe and uh, stay hydrated. Uh, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Sheriff. Uh, we introduce our IC for the day, Lieutenant Tim Sturm with our Calaveras County Sheriff's Office. Okay, good morning. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, I'm just going to give a quick background uh, on this particular missing person. It's uh, David Johnson. If anybody follows him, it goes by Davey Johnson, uh, writes automotive articles, feature writer for Car and Driver magazine, has some associations to uh, other internet blogs and um, motorcycle related articles. Um, he was last heard from on June 7th, so that would be a week ago Wednesday, uh, and uh, he was reported missing. His motorcycle was found about a mile down the road from us at a location known as the Big Bar Access Point. It's a river access. Uh, the motorcycle was found with the key in the ignition. The motorcycle does run. That was checked. And uh, Mr. Johnson was nowhere to be found around that. Hasty search was initiated on that date, and it's continued uh, evolving and growing ever since. Clues that have been found related to Mr. Johnson include his clothing, uh, camera, computer, and uh, information based on his clothing <laughs> appears that he may have discarded or taken off clothing. Uh, while approaching the river. His physical descriptors are uh, 5 foot 11, 175, gray, and blue. The search effort so far has included uh, jet propelled boats and jet skis, as well as uh, foot crews and uh, extensive amount of uh, air and uh, overhead via OHV, excuse me, um, UAV resources, um, there's been no sign of it located. An interesting part of the clothing that uh, I previously mentioned was that there is a drainage which essentially runs across Highway 49 and flows into the McCullamy River. Uh, Mr. Johnson did make contact with a friend uh, via uh, social media with a picture of himself in a drainage uh, with a comment such as uh, he was in a creek that feeds into what he referred to as the American. And uh, this is not the American River. However, uh, our detectives have located that particular site. They have confirmed that it is the same. They know exactly where the photograph was taken, so we know that that's where that photograph originated. So he was down there. He was admittedly sitting in a creek which flowed into a larger uh, water, uh, water source. and. Uh, we haven't heard from him since. How far away was that from his motorcycle? Approximately, uh, what, what are you going to give that? Where's the can? A quarter mile, maybe? Yeah, a quarter, quarter mile. And 
there's, there was numerous <coughs> personal items around that. It definitively was his area, yes. And that was where they left? Correct. Yeah, yes. Did they clearly find the shoes? The, uh, we did not locate shoes. Do you know what he was wearing when the photo was taken? Uh, in, in the photo, he's actually no, no shirt. So right. you, you can only see probably uh, mid chest down. Oh, no, yeah, mid chest up. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the background of why you're here uh, today. We we hope to really just saturate the area um, and uh, just have a, a relative high POD. You're going to see that the terrain is uh, pretty steep, there's berries, there's a lot of things that are going to really slow you down. So even if your search area looks smaller today, we ask that you take your time. Really get a high POD, uh, water's edge, anybody working in that hot zone, anybody near, everybody knows what they need, right? We don't need any accidents today, everyone needs to be safe, but uh, just nice and slow and uh, precise searching. And I'm going to turn it over back over to Don and over to operations with Mike. But again, thank you very much, uh, and good luck and be safe. Okay, um, I'm going to introduce uh, operations for today. Uh, it's Calaveras County SAR, it's Mike Dorian. We have a number of ground teams. River right is going to be even numbers. River left is going to be odd numbers. So we're missing some numbers, so it's now there. I got the team assignments here. We mixed teams of different agencies in together because we got a lot of people here in the next number of um, areas of search. And we might be changing it up as we go along. We're going to break up here. I'm going to have Mike and Lori, and Cadillo, and Lori. Mike's a current train officer, Lori's a past train officer. We're going to meet you a handful of these. She's going to call out names, give, uh, get the team leader, and then you'll sign and get your, your sign machine off you go. Our number one goal is we don't deliver victims to the incident, right? We have one victim, we're going to keep it at one. No more than that. Everybody here goes home today. Other than be able to tie me, scratched up in the same shape you came here on, okay? Everybody goes home, we're going to be safe, we're going to be slow, methodical, and very, very, very cautious, okay? Foot, you know, it's just it's a steep, typical foothill river banks, right? It's a shale, the ground's loose, you grab a rock, wiggle it, because those things come off your hands. Um, that's about all I got. Um, and Mark, make sure that everybody grabs a sack lunch at Red Cross, right? So, has anybody looked at the map? Basically, when this Highway 49 crosses the river, it's called Big Bar. Okay, it's the local main port. And the middle bar is so the old road goes down. So it's the Big Bar and Middle Bar where we're searching. For general, we have two teams on river right, one going down, one going up. We're going to pass and come back out. Okay, so here's the both sides of the cut, cover twice today. River left, same thing. Team going down, a team going up. You can beat the middle, say hi. Lunches and go finish your signs. Okay. You can say clues, anything at all, call in right away. Injury, I don't care how slight it is, call it in. Okay, we, we got we got a lot of people here. Don't be heroic today. Today is not the day for that. Okay. Okay, I have a few things that uh, we've all heard before, but we gotta cover it again. First of all, for our safety message, it, uh, we have to expect the hot dry conditions. Uh, the last time I, I checked the predicted high was 87 degrees here. Um, yesterday said it was 90, so it may be a little bit cooler than it was yesterday. Uh, reminder to drink plenty of fluids, stay hydrated, take frequent breaks as needed. Uh, it's steep terrain out there in the River Canyon. Uh, the primary search area is a River Canyon itself. Um, water flows, we've heard a couple of times. Early this morning it was at 5,200 cubic feet per second. We may see it drop to about 4,300 around 9 o'clock this morning. Been here for over a week. I've seen it as low as 31 and as high as 54. It's, it's, um, it's not the same riverbanks we've expected. Let's see. And if you're operating along Highway 49 or you're traveling Highway 49, especially northbound on 49, as you uh, proceed downhill, it's called 13 curves, and you'll see why it's progressed down that way. Just be careful down there and be careful if you're operating there. Um, there's a t if you have to get to a turnout, there's a spot for Big Bar, but you may have to go all the way down and make a turn at the bottom and then come back up and turn to Big Bar in the parking area. Along with that, a reminder to please clear your tracks before you start your assignment. And then also remember to save your track as soon as you reach the end of your assignment. We'll be downloading those so we can complete our incident um, 
map of documentation. If you plan on staying tonight, we're going to need a headcount for the Red Cross as far as preparing meals. If you plan on staying, before you go out, please see Jennifer. She's over here. She was a check-in so we can get a headcount for the Red Cross people. We're going to have a National Guard helicopter here about 9 o'clock this morning. No drones. So there's no fly zone with the helicopter. Everybody understand that. You cannot pick up drones. Uh, a reminder, there are bag lunches over here from the Red Cross. Grab one before you go out. We are using VTAC 36. It is repeated. If you need to download maps, you can go over here to Contra Costa County OES, pop up shelter, the black one, and you can download maps over there. We mentioned additional assignments, so if you haven't gotten one, we need us sit here, we'll get you an assignment. Um, let's see, radio, GPS, check out. Make sure when you get back to this ICP here that you check back in. We need to debrief every team. We'll have a debriefing form. Very simple form, but we need to get one from everybody. So what we're going to ask is when you come back in here, come back to operations and we'll debrief you. This is plans, but we'll debrief you. But we won't let you go until we have a debriefing form from every, from every team. We'll set up your teams. They'll start giving out assignments. Okay, we're going to stand over there. We're going to call it. It's going to be kind of chaotic. It starts as it always are. We're calling individual names. We're going to huddle the teams together. Go get your assignment sheet. If you want a briefing, I will come and give it to you. It's pretty straightforward. Just on a side note, I got two dog teams going out now. River left, river right. You start a big bar and going downstream. So two dog teams will be ahead of you guys. As, as we should. This, this Robin, she's our, our dog kind of on the team. K9, there is an emergency vet. I've already talked to the K9 teams. Numbers here. So if something happens to your dogs. Call into base. They will call the number for the emergency vet, and you guys are just going to go there. We're not going to have to come back here. I think that's it. Again, everybody, thanks for coming.